Hello, and welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is David Gilmore, and I'm in charge of leveraged analytics at Standard & Poor's European Corporate Ratings. With me today is Peter Kernan, the Managing Director in charge of Criteria for European Corporates. Peter, welcome. Um, you've recently published a new paper on non-common equity. Uh, would you like to summarize what it's about? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So basically what, what the criteria is about is it describes the circumstances in which we can exclude non-common equity financings which have been provided to corporates by either financial sponsor owners or strategic owners. And by non-common equity financings, we mean typically we're talking about shareholder loans or types of preference share instruments. And the, the circumstances in which we would exclude the financings from our financial analysis and our leverage are for, for the financial sponsors. The financial sponsor needs to meet three high-level conditions. They, they need to have control. Secondly, the terms and conditions of the non-common equity financing in aggregate need to be, in our opinion, favourable to third-party creditors. And thirdly, and importantly, we need to believe that the financial policy stance of the financial sponsor owner will not result in leverage increasing. For strategic owners, there are two conditions. First one is that we, we regard the owner as, as a strategic owner. In other words, we believe they're investing for purposes of vertical or horizontal integration, for example. And secondly, we believe that the terms and conditions, again, of the non-common equity financing are in aggregate favourable to third-party creditors. Okay, that's, that's quite clear. Uh, we published a request for comment on this topic in the summer of 2013. What are the yeah. major differences between that request for comment and the new criteria? Yeah. Really, there's only one substantive change that, that I'd like to highlight, David, and, and that's that we have allowed that in a circumstance in which you have a, a let's say, a private equity-owned company where the common equity is still held by management, we have allowed that in that structure that can potentially meet the terms of the criteria as long as the financial sponsor controls the company through its ownership of preference shares and, and voting rights are embedded in those preference shares. Okay, this all sounds quite a material um, change from wh what, how we viewed things before. So yeah. what's the impact on current ratings? Yeah. The, the impact on current ratings is actually very, very insignificant. We, we actually estimate that less than 1% of our in-scope ratings will be affected by this criteria. Okay, so if, if the impact on ratings is very little, why is this an important criteria? Yeah, it's a good question. The, 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 the principal reason or one of the primary reasons why there is limited impact on the current portfolio is because one of the critical terms and conditions that we require to be present in the deal documentation to, to meet the criteria to have the, the financing excluded is that the non-common equity financing is stapled to the common equity. And it's in essence, that means that the common equity and the, the preference share of the shareholder loan must be held and sold together. And that stapling clause is, you know, our research has demonstrated that currently that stapling clause is not found very often. Going forward, however, we believe that this criteria may be material because as long as financial sponsors or strategic owners are in a position and are able to meet all that they have control, mm -hmm. if in case of financial sponsors, and they're able to meet all the terms and conditions which we document in the criteria, there is then the possibility, not the certainty, but the possibility that we would then exclude the financing from our leverage and our financial analysis. Okay, so if I can summarize, put simply, if I'm a financial sponsor or a strategic investor, if I hit the, the certain um, sort of criteria needed uh, for mm -hmm. a particular instrument, I can automatically assume it'll then be treated as equity essentially rather than debt. Yep. Is that correct? No, no. Y you shouldn't assume automatically anything because the, the critical overlay in our analysis for the financial sponsor financing is the financial policy analysis which we do. So. Even if you have control, even if you meet all the terms and conditions which we document in the criteria, if our judgmental financial policy analysis leads us to believe that leverage may increase or leverage ratios may weaken, mm -hmm. in that case, we would not exclude the non-common equity financing from leverage. Okay, very clear, thank you. And 
that concludes this edition of Credit Matters TV. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.